I feel like I'm sharing too much on the internet again. Sometimes a good day doesn't find you. You have to find the good day. Ah! Was it potentially love bombing? Maybe. I think it's basically gonna read me fulfilled and tell me why I always go for assholes. Toxic, so toxic. Airtime! Airtime. Is that me? Did I spend that money? It can't have been me, and it was, it was me. Hello, my little chickens. Oh, it's been a while since we said that. Welcome. Wait, what's my intro? Welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, my name's Emma Thompson Hill. Thank you for joining me today. I just thought I would do a little vloggy vlog. It's been a while since I've done like a vlog where I'm actually not doing anything, like just at home. I'm just getting ready right now because I'm gonna um, film a haul and film some other little bits of content. It's like 5 p.m. on Friday and I've got like this sudden burst of motivation, which I'm gonna take it. I can, I'm gonna take any I can because I have not been feeling like myself lately. You know them ones where it's like, you are actually fine. Like day to day, you're actually doing all right. But there's just been shit after shit after shit after shit. That's what my life has currently been. And I feel like I've been in a really little, I don't know, like a bit of a weird stage with work. Like I did say that in the last vlog, like that I was having a bit of, um, what do you call it? Like a rut, like a creative rut. So I was kind of in that sort of mode. I'm getting out of it right now, but I don't know, like I've been, this week I've been, I don't know how I can explain it. Like I just feel kind of weird. We're gonna move through it. Like today, I didn't even really wanna, now nah, like I, I don't know, I woke up late because I went to bed late. And then I just was like, I felt really motivated when I woke up and then like a, like an hour later, I was like, nah, I'm not feeling it, you know? And I started getting really overwhelmed because I was like, oh God, I need to do all these things and I've not done them and X, Y, and Z, you know how it goes. About an hour ago, I started feeling real motivated again. It's just hit and miss. Swings and roundabouts at this point, babe. So we're gonna embrace it. We're gonna embrace the motivation while we can, get some work done. I'm just using this new concealer. I've used it a couple times already. It's by a brand called Chem Beauty, which are like a UK small black owned brand. It's the Like Butter Concealer. Can you see this? Old school beauty guru YouTube. Anyway, this is the shade Latte and they do tons of shades. So I'm using this and it's so pigmented. Look at that, that's gorge. Yeah, so shall we do a little, a cheeky little life update? This weekend, I'm honestly not doing too much. It's my birthday next weekend. Well, it's like next Monday on the 14th. So this weekend, I'm not doing too much. I'm with family tomorrow. All my aunties and uncles are coming up from Yorkshire because my dad like, sponsors a cricket game every every year so like everyone's coming up to watch this cricket in our hometown that concealer is really matte as well i kind of prefer something a bit more dewy but the coverage is so gorgeous so that's what i'm doing tomorrow i may come back to manchester to go out because my friends invited me to this little event i'm not sure maybe i will maybe i won't sunday what am i doing sunday i'm actually doing nothing like so yeah this, this is like one of the this is gonna be like a very chilled catch up let's spend time together kind of like life has really been life for me um, <laughs> july <laughs> i don't know if it's just me but july was a mess it was so basically let me tell you something that's happened to me lately because oh boy basically do you guys remember on um tiktok i did like a little get ready with me to go on a date. So basically like, uh, it must've been late June. I re-downloaded Hinge, which I've not been on obviously since my little breakup earlier in the year. Redownloaded it, I thought, ooh, let me see what's out there. And the thing with me and Hinge is, right, I'll don't, not even just Hinge, any dating app, like I will download it and I will have it for two days and then I'm done with it and I'll like not go on it ever again. Cause I don't know, I just kind of like get sick of it. I get sick of it and it just makes me think, wow, there's actually, no one out here. But you know, every now and then I just like to have a little nosy. So in the one of the days I was on Hinge for like two days, I ended up matching this guy. Matched, like got on really well, planned this date, went on this date. The date went like so well. 
we ended up going, oh, so it's a bit of a long story. Do I just tell you the whole story? I know you want to hear the whole story, don't you? We matched, we decided that we were going to go on a date and get bubble tea, right? Because he's actually not from Manchester, but he lives here. And he only moved here, like, I don't know, a few months ago. And we were talking about Chinatown and this, that and the other. And he'd never been. So I said, cool, we can go get bubble tea. He does MMA and he had a fight coming up. So he like couldn't eat because he was like this strict diet plan, whatever, whatever. So go on this date. It went really well. We're there at the bubble tea shop. Must have been sat there for like an hour and a half, just chatting away, having the best time. Then he was like, oh, my coach just texted me and I don't, um, I don't have to like eat on my diet plan tonight. I can have whatever. So do you want to go for dinner? Went for dinner after that. Went for this, went for that. Anyway, so from that date, like we started spending a lot of time together. He was like, can I see you again on, on Wednesday, which is like a couple of days later. I was like, yeah, we started spending a lot of time together. And I was like staying at his house. Obviously did the do, the do, do, do. Um, and then I went to Portugal. We were texting the whole time I was there. Got back, saw him like the next day. And we were just kind of spending, yeah, like I said, spending a lot of time together. Was it too intense? Yes. Was it potentially love bombing? Maybe. It was a lot. Like the third time we ever met, and I was like, you know, it's only the third time we've met. Cause we was like, in, we was like all over each other, like obsessed with each other. He was like, really, is it? And I was like, what, do you feel like you knew me in a past life? And he's like, I don't know, something like that. He was like, I don't know, like I could long it out. Like I've done that in the past with people. Like we could long the whole thing out, but what's the point? Like when I, I really like you and like we're really getting on, like when you know, you know. So obviously I'm like, wow. I'm low key, I can't even lie. While this whole situation is going on, I'm kind of anxious because it's just like moving, it's just like too good to be true. Like it's moving quick and it's just too good to be true, which obviously it fucking was. Oh, I love this blush. It's made by Mitchell Sweet Cheeks. So pretty. Anyway, so obviously like now I'm looking back, I feel like, uh, but in the time, at the time I was just like, oh my God. Blah, blah, blah. Well, oh God, I just, I don't know. X, Y, and the Z, like I was at his doing work at his house in the daytime, like all of this, right? Tell me why. Oh, I forgot a part of the story. So, <laughs> this is crazy. Listen, don't do what I say. Don't do what I do. Don't, what? Don't do what I do, do what I say. Like, don't be moving as quick with someone because it never turns out good. So when we first matched on Hinge and we like FaceTimed and we were talking, he was saying he had this, he likes to travel. So he was like, have you got any tricks planned? And I was like, oh, I'm going to Portugal, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, oh yeah, after I finish my fight, I'm looking to go away. And I was like, come like as a joke and he was like nah I'm down let's do it so then after we'd been on this date and everything was going really well like we started looking to go on a trip together I know it sounds insane right so we started looking to go on this trip together you know when you just have to laugh oh because you laugh or I should cry so we're looking for this trip so then the whole times I've seen him after this like we're like still looking still looking like thinking oh what are we gonna do where are we gonna go x y and z Cool. Now we must have been seeing each other for maybe like two, three weeks at this point. And one day we were texting and he just didn't reply. Which was weird because the first, since the first day we matched, I spoke to him every single day. He just didn't reply. And I thought, that's weird. I did not hear from him for like a week. And obviously I'm not going to bell off his phone like... I'm just not gonna, I just can't embarrass myself like that. Like, if you don't wanna talk to me, you don't wanna talk to me. Like, I'm never gonna chase you. I'm not gonna chase, uh, just no, just no, right? So, this is new, by the way. Urban, ooh, that smells nice. Urban Decay All Night uh, Vitamin C spray. About a week later, yeah, cause the last time we spoke was on the Tuesday, so then he texts me on the Monday of the following week. He sent me a text, oh, and by the way, so like, obviously I'm kind of freaking out cause, you know, he's kind of low-key ghosted me but at the same time because he had this fight coming up you know how people like, athletes athletes <laughs> you know how like sports people be like like i was thinking oh maybe he just like not me making excuses for him wow i was thinking oh like maybe he's gone into fight mode he doesn't want any distractions he you know he's just trying to become a bit insular and just get ready for the fight because it was like a week away i mean all all you had to do was text me and be like i'm not going to be available for the next couple of weeks but asking someone to communicate that's too much so then he texts me a week later and he's like hey emma i'm so sorry for the extremely delayed response it had nothing to do with you 
I'm good and I hope you are as well. So obviously like not trying to make convo, like just sending a little whatever. And I was like, hmm, but in my head I'm still thinking, yeah, maybe he's just doing this whole fighter shit. Anyway now. So I made him I made him wait 24 hours for a response, not like he gives a shit. Here's me playing hard to get, giving it 24 hours after the man has blanked me for seven days straight, but all right. And then I text him and I was like, oh, like what was up? Oh, no, I think I think I put like, hey, glad to hear you're good. What was it then I thought I was being ghosted? Cause like, I don't have time for games. Like what was it? If it wasn't me, then what was it? Use your words. He didn't reply to me. What was the point? In coming, sorry, my mirror's in the way. What was the point in coming back to send that text if you were just gonna ghost me again? Anyway, so I'm thinking the real test is what happens after the fight. Let's see what happens. Fight happened, which he lost, by the way. I'm not saying it's karma, but so that was on a Saturday. The Sunday rolled round. Nothing. The Monday rolled round nothing and i'm like wow so i just sent him a text and i said um let me find this damn text are we drawing the line in the sand between me and you i know you're busy with the fight but it's been a couple of days since and i still haven't heard from you i thought we had something cute going on and i didn't expect you to disappear on me air time air time he's never replied to me never replied so i got fully ghosted which in itself is bad after and let me just say like when we were i was seeing this boy obviously i've been love bombed but for what reason i'm not quite sure because when i was seeing this guy like he was on me like he was so affirmative like so you are so beautiful you're so this you're so that and whatever whatever and he's a very good looking boy and i'm like oh uh, i'm thinking if the boy wanted to fuck like he could fuck anyone you know and it's like this i feel like i'm sharing too much on the internet again the sex that we was having was very much all about me so it's like, what are you, like, what are you really gaining from it? Because majority, like, eight, like, seventy-five percent of the sex is like you do stuff to me. So I just don't know. I will never know. And that's the thing: when someone ghosts you, you will never know. You just have to let them do their thing because whatever it is, it's you, it's you. Like, and the thing is, like, even if you're not feeling it anymore, which is so normal, all you have to do is send a text and be like, "I'm not feeling this." That's fine. That's so fine. But ghosting someone is like, I find that like the most horrible thing you can do, especially after you've been spending a lot of time with someone, been intimate with them, been basically selling a dream. Like, what is that about? That was rough. And then not only that, right? So not only that, which is bad in itself, yeah? I just, the other day I just thought, mm, let me just do a little stalk. Like he doesn't really post on Instagram, but I knew his Instagram. So I was like, let me just go and have a, a little look. He's on holiday. On the holiday that me and him were planning on going on. And I can guarantee you that boy is not alone. So yeah, maybe he was just talking to other people and he chose someone else, which I find mad because we were spending so much time together. How you got time to see other people? and go to training like i'm confused but i you know what i'm not in the business of trying to figure it out because i'll turn myself insane trying to make sense of it it doesn't make sense people are crazy july really proved to me that people are crazy i had another crazy situation which i'm not even going to talk about on the internet maybe one day maybe i'll talk about it on my podcast down the line which is coming out soon by the way oh my god i can probably announce it right now so mine and clara's podcast is coming out on the 14th of august which is my birthday which is like a week on Monday, it's Friday today. So it's like 10 days away. It's dropping in 10 days. But follow us on Instagram. So our Instagram is Mum Told Me Pod. All the updates will be on there, as well as my Instagram and Clara's Instagram. But yeah, I had another mad situation happen to me with a flipping girl that I don't even want to get into. But that in itself like was also horrendous. So <laughs> July was rough. Not to mention, like, I don't know, like, this whole heartbreak thing, like, I felt like I was over it. But then, like, he could be watching this right now because he did tell me that he started watching my YouTube videos. Hey! I don't know, like, that in itself was also just getting to me a little bit. But I don't know, like, I've just been feeling really unmotivated lately. But I don't know, maybe it's... I think I just don't give myself enough time. Like, these things that happen, like, are actually deep shit. But I'm like, oh, well, got to move on because I'm just kind of the person now. Things don't really get me down like they used to, which is really sad. Like, even this whole being ghosted thing, I'm not even crying about it. 
because I'm like, mm, it's almost like expected, which is so sad that you expect people to do you dirty like that. But I don't know, man, people are insane and I just feel like you can't internalize the way that they behave towards you. In the end of the day, I know who I am. I know what I bring to the table. And if unhealed people want to come and not be able to fucking just say how you feel, communicate, it's not a problem. So, I mean, we're moving through it. Everything will be fine, because it always is, that's the thing. I, I just don't feel like, you know, you're younger and you feel like this sense of impending doom when something bad happens. I just don't feel it anymore because I just think, fuck, like, I've been through some shit and I got through it. So anything that now happens in the future, ah, it's a walk in the park, it's a piece of cake. I have all the tools to navigate that because I've already been done it before. Yeah, there's my little tale. And you know what? You know what that situation made me think? Like, after this whole heartbreaking flipping April, we've had the flipping, and then I had, oh God, if you guys knew the situations that happened to me, you would not actually believe it. You would think my life's a sitcom. I had another shit situation happen to me in like May time. This situation with the ghost in this other situation with this girl that was fucking tapped. So all of that led me to believe, I need to be alone. I need to have no one in my vicinity. I need to pour back into myself. I also sort of need to think, what is it, Emma, about you or about maybe your attachment style or whatever it is that is attracting these people or maybe just like entertaining these people when you know maybe you shouldn't. So I think I need to do some self-work, self-reflection and figure that shit out. Because I don't know, for me, like there's always, there's always been a roster. There's always been someone I'm talking to and maybe it's just time to just not do that and just actually be alone for a while. But I don't know, I, I low-key, I low-key think maybe I am a toxic babe. Maybe I am. Maybe I am. I don't know. I don't know. I just really want to focus on work and not stinky boys. Or stinky, actually women aren't stinky. They're not. But that one girl has really put me off women for a good while. We'll return to that though. Let's do some lashes. Wildcat lashes, if you've never heard of these guys. Mm, they're this lovely little lash brand and I really like their stuff. What should we put on? Maybe I'll just do this. I feel like I can't do a half lash without doing eyeliner and I don't want to do eyeliner today. So maybe we'll just, we'll try it and we'll just see what happens. Oh, I could do like, um, like the, the brown, the brown eyeshadow. How do people do that? And then they go like, like that and do a little wing. Maybe I'll do that. I've got this Lottie London chocolate box eyeshadow palette. Cute. I'm gonna use this one in the middle. Should I try and do what they do? Wait, I'm gonna try and find a tutorial before I fuck this up. Licking it upwards. Cause it's not perfect whatsoever. Okay. I feel like I'm fucking it up. We'll leave it as that. We'll leave it as that. I've lost my favorite tweezers as well. So putting on these lashes might be a bit difficult so yeah other than that there's just a lot of like life changes happening currently i don't know when i'm going to talk about it am i going to talk about it now or later in the video i'll probably have to talk about it in this video but we have a lot of changes happening with all body which people have been asking me about this lately i don't know if it's film a separate video it's like i don't know i don't want to make it into a huge thing but it kind of is a huge thing because it was a huge thing i'll probably talk about it in this video but i want to just think about what i want to say before I say it, you know what I mean? So, there'll be timestamps on the bottom of this video so you can, you'll be able to watch it later, but I'll give you an update on that. But yeah, I'll come back to you when I'm about to film and I've set everything up for filming my haul. Bye. Okay, I'm ready. My makeup turned out really good actually and I'm really happy about it. I've got everything set up. I have not filmed a haul in months. It must be like, Three months that since I filmed a haul, which is crazy. Sorry, my mouth is really dry. I need some water. Anyway, I'm not filmed a haul in so long, so, and I'm not actually gonna use any lights today because the lighting from outside is pretty good. My mirror here, my camera there, all my clothes are here. So, I'm filming like a massive collective haul of everything that I've bought over the past few months. I'm gonna film that. That'll be up before this, so go and watch it if you haven't watched it already. Okay, I've finished filming. I'm just transferring the footage to my laptop and then me and my friend are going to go to Trafford Centre because we want to get a Starbucks. I really want to go see Bath & Body Works because they've opened one in Trafford Centre and I fancy a gooey, a cookie. They've opened a gooey concession in Selfridges. So we're going to go to Trafford Centre. 
and have a nice little time. I've put this, oh, can I talk? I'm freaking out because my battery said there's no battery in it. So it could just turn off at any moment. Anyway, I've got this outfit on. So I just filmed this haul, but this jumpsuit I got from Fashion Nova, but I've not worn it yet because it's a little bit too big. Like I keep having to, you know, do the huh, hoist it up. So that's what I'm wearing to go to Trafford Centre. I gave it all for the fantasy. Is anybody gonna remember me? I tell you what, from time to time, I love a salt and vinegar. Sometimes a bit, mm, a bit much, but yeah, they do it for me every time. Walkers is the best. I'm not willing to budge on it. Hello, babes. I'm back home now. I actually didn't film anything. I forgot to film because I was filming a little TikTok vlog, but I'm gonna run you through it. So, when Trafford Centre, because I wanted to go to Bath, oh, Bath and Body Works. And that I did. I just wanted to see it. Like, obviously I've not seen a Bath and Body Works in the UK ever before. I've only seen them in America. Well, this is the first one. I'm a bit tired, so I'm not making sense. But this is the first actual shop. I feel like they've opened. My friend needed a bit of cheering up. So I was like, come on, let's just go there. So I went there, I got my hand soap because basically I've been buying them from Next. Like, obviously when I go to America, I used to get some stuff, but I've been buying from Next, and this is run out. This is my favourite hand soap. Gentle Foaming Hand Soap by Bath & Body Works. This is the Cozy Vanilla Almond. That's really nice, and I'll show you the ones I got today. I got two, so it's two for £13, which I don't think is too crazy. Like, they do last, like, a few months. And it's really, like, I love the smells, and... It lasts really well on your hands and it doesn't strip your hands. You know, like some soaps that like, are really drying on your hands. It doesn't do that. I love all the other Bath & Body Works stuff, but I just had to practice some self-control because I don't need any more shower gel or body lotion right now. I need to get through what I've already got. So yeah, but I love their stuff and the shop was honestly the exact same as the American ones. We went to S, the Italian, for um, our dinner. So we had a nice little garlic bread carbonara, glass of wine. I just, I don't know why. Today, I just really wanted a glass of Sauvignon. Like, I was just craving a glass of wine. So, I had my glass of wine, which was lovely. We went to Selfridges because we wanted to get a gooey, um, like, cookie. Anyway, they'd sold out. <laughs> so, we just went to the dessert counter in Selfridges. My friend got, like, a brownie, and I got a cake jar from, like, the Finch Bakery bit of the... Counter. I've not had any yet, so I might have a spoon now and see if it's really nice. I remember like a few years ago when they were still at the little bakery, everyone was obsessed with French bakery and it was when I still lived in Preston, it wasn't too far from Preston and everyone used to go all the time and now I see how far they've come and they have all these concessions and it's just amazing. I don't think I've ever had anything from Finch Bakery. Actually, I might have had something from when they had a little concession in Harvey Nicks, but yeah, it always looks amazing. And then I did try to go to Selfridges to the Astrid and Mayu concession to get my bracelet put back on. So basically, when I was in London a couple of months ago, I got one of them welded bracelets. So I got it welded to my wrist. It's like solid gold. It was not cheap. Anyway, it came off. I've still got the bracelet though, because I was like, I cannot lose this because it was really expensive. Well, expensive for what it is. It's like a tiny little bracelet and it cost me like £100. So anyway, it came off and they're supposed to like be welded on for life. So I need it welded back on and they do a little welding service there. So I was gonna go and see if they put it back on for me. But anyway, no one was there. I think I was too late. I think I need to go on a different day in the daytime. But yeah, we had a little mooch. It was lovely. Went to Starbucks, had a frappuccino. I don't usually get a frappuccino, but I don't know. I didn't want coffee and I was just feeling a little sweet vibe. I got the chocolate waffle frappuccino, which was just okay. Like it was nothing special. But my friend got the strawberry one, which was really nice. But they're just, they're so sweet. So yeah, I'm absolutely knackered now. I'm just gonna go to bed. Guys, this thing right here, this little device has changed my life. I'm not gonna do it on camera because it's gross, but it's a tongue scraper. So after you brush your teeth, you can scrape all the gunk off your tongue. Life changing. I've just realized I've brushed my teeth and I wanna try this cake. So I'm going to have to brush my teeth again, flipping hell. Oh, my skin feels soft. I'm going to put a little bit of oil on. This makes your skin feel like actual silk. It's the Sarah Chapman Overnight Facial. It's not cheap, 
but on my days, it's so nourishing and it honestly, your skin feels so soft, it's crazy. Okay. Let me show you what I've got. Okay, so In The Stars is my favourite Bath & Body Works scent. I've had like the lotion, the shower gel, the mist. It's my favourite. It just smells good. Also, In The Night is really nice. My other favourite is Mahogany Teakwood. But obviously, like, I don't want to smell like this all the time. I feel like this is a nice house scent. Like the candles and all of that because it's very masculine. So, I got the Mahogany Teakwood soap. Let me tell you what it smells like. It just smells like men's aftershave, but like in the best way. It's like musky and like, mm. It's very masculine, but I feel like as a woman, like you could also use it, like, and it's fine. It's just nice, it's sexy. Then, I've never seen this one before. They had loads of different flavors in there, flavors, scents. They had loads of different scents in there that I think are like limited edition or whatnot. So this is the bronze sunset. They had loads of summery stuff that smelled amazing like loads of different stuff and body creams and sprays and everything like that but they had this and they had like a sun kiss citrus i think it was called that was also really nice but this is the bronzed sunset i don't think it has like the fra any fragrance notes on it but i'm going to tell you what it smells like this is like salty coconut that's what it smells like very beachy very summery it smells like beach walk by maison margella if you've smelt that perfume before yeah, salty, sandy coconut. That's what it smells like. Oh, it's so nice. And then, obviously, I got my little cake jar. So this is chocolate fudge cake jar. I don't know, I didn't fancy a brownie or anything. So I thought, let me just get a little cake. This is what it looks like. Let's taste it. Oh, I'm excited. The cake is really moist. You know what I think would make this better? I don't know if it has any. I don't know if I need to just get further down. Let me see. Hold on. Mmm. Okay, I was just getting the buttercream and the cake. And then when you get like the... It has like three layers. Like cake and then like a fudge. And then like a buttercream. When you get the fudge. Yeah. Because I was going to say some sort of caramel sauce. Like something thinner to like loosen it would be so good. But the fudge is there and it's banging. I'm going to have to practice some self-control now to not eat the whole thing. Mm, 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 mm. Now I need to go brush my teeth again. And I'm going to get in bed. And I'm going to read my book. I really need to start reading more books. And my therapist recommended this book to me. It's called Female Power Archetypes. Your key to creating stronger and more fulfilling relationships. I think it's basically going to read me fulfilled and tell me why I always go for arseholes. I mean, it's not going to tell me that, but I think it tells you about like your attachment styles, why you go for certain people, why you accept certain behaviour. So I'll let you know what happens in the book, if it's going to change my life or not. But yeah, bedtime now. Hello, darlings. It's Sunday today. Didn't vlog yesterday because I was just with family and I just don't want to whack the camera out when I'm with the family. Back in Manchester now, I had a really nice time yesterday. Everyone was drunk. And I'm just going to do a food shop. It's half past four. I've only got half an hour till Aldi shuts. But I actually don't need too much stuff. So should be fine. So I'm thinking I'll go to Aldi, get my bits. Maybe I'll get a little nice coffee. Right, I'm just, you know, you're taking too long here, love. Uh, might get a little iced coffee. Even though I'm trying to pack that in, to be honest, because you don't realise how much accumulates. Like, honestly, guys, I'm really trying to be better with budgeting because for the past few years, I'm very fortunate to be in a position where I don't really worry about money. And I'm very grateful and very fortunate for that. You don't realise... Oh, it's busy. You do not realise how much money... Sorry, I was just waiting for a lady to cross the road. You don't worry. Worry? Fucking hell, can I talk? You don't realise how much money you're spending. So you look at the bank statements and I'm like, wow, was that me? Did I spend that money? It can't have been me. And it was, it was me. And uh, yeah, I just think, Jesus, I could have flipping been saving all my money and doing this and that and the other with that but i wasn't i was out spending it so <laughs> i'm just trying to be a bit more switched on with my spending like, i don't think i like i don't spend crazy amounts on like oh i don't spend crazy amounts on 
like clothes or nothing like well maybe i do but it's kind of like a business expense but i don't i don't feel like i spend crazy amounts of money on random shit but i go out a lot like go out to eat with my friends and then like, you don't realize like eating out if i'm out and i get lunch or if i'm out and i get a coffee and like it just adds up and like all my bills are going up like my council tax has gone up 30 quid a month every single bill i have has gone up to some degree so i'm like it's time to just rein it in a little bit i actually remembered a pound for the trolley today which is great i also like i haven't had any noodles in my house because i had a hyper fixation with noodles like a few weeks ago and i've run out so i think i'm gonna go to chinatown to go to han Won hong the grocery store there so i can get some more kimchi because i'm running low some noodles and just some little bits like that so let's go shopping but they only have like packs of 36. I live alone. How am I gonna eat 36 Weetabix before they go stale? You want the back the room? Thank you. Have a nice day. You too, bye bye. I'm not gonna lie. I was so flabbergasted that I had to pay at the, at the, the what was the hell is it called? At the little machine that I forgot to ask for soy milk, but it's fine. I'm not lactose intolerant. I'm not lactose and toddlerant, but I just always get soy for some reason. I tell you what though, that's really nice. Sometimes I feel like because I do soy milk and I drink unsweetened soy milk and then at the coffee shops it's always sweet and soy milk. They always do the sweet and soy milk and I hate it. I just, mm, it's not nice. So the, I never get syrup because it's usually quite sweet. I don't like overly sweet drinks. That just takes the edge off a bit though. That's actually really nice. Anyway, right now, I'm going to Chinatown so I can get my noodles. Woo! There must have been an angel by my side. Look at the sky. It's the color of love. Found something I like it. People like can't drive! Like Every day is proven to me. People can't drive! They can't! The eyes are in the back of their head! They try to see forward and they can't! Oh, he probably thinks I'm screaming at him. I'm, I'm not screaming at you, I'm just, I'm just surprised because you can't drive. <laughs> I love this song. This is one of my favourite songs. Top three favourite Summer Walker songs. But I can't live without you. I can't take it no more. You, you, you. Okay, I'm here. Let's go. I got all of the goods and I went to my favorite bakery Wong Wong bakery they didn't have my favorite thing my favorite thing is the char sui bun char sui char su it's char su isn't it char su um anyway so I got a ham and spring onion bun I wanted them to heat it up for me but their um microwave wasn't working this is one of the best bakeries in Manchester and it is so banging so it's like a Chinese bakery I also got the pandan cream cake sandwich. Look at that. I don't think I've ever had pandan, but it looks nice. Everything from this place is mega, so I'm willing to try anything from this place because it's always good. Let's try this. I was gonna wait to get home so I can heat it up. The bread is just unreal. God, it has gone so warm all of a sudden. Let's get ourselves home and unload this shopping. So I got these from Aldi. Muller rice protein. But it could just be a scam because Muller rice already has quite a lot of protein in. 
This has 13 grams. It might just be like a normal mug of rice. Cause you know it'd be like protein milk. And it's just the same as getting soy milk or normal milk. Mm. Anyway, but then I also got this lemon cheesecake yogurt with 22 grams of protein. Aldi's does some good protein stuff. This, they started doing this, the salted caramel flavor, 20 grams of protein, salted caramel. But hang in, it's really nice. I'm trying to get back on my shit this week coming up because I've not been, I was in such a good routine of going gym and just like eating, you know, well, and then it's all fell off a cliff. And I just know like in myself, I always feel better when I'm like eating all my vegetables, eating all my fruit, getting all my nutrients and fiber. I'm not a restrictive kind of person, so I'm gonna eat what I want, but I just need to make sure I'm also getting my nutrients. You know what I mean? So hopefully this week we can get back on that. And I like to have a high protein kind of vibe. So we've got this. Anyway, let me show you what I got from the Asian grocery store. So I got some dumplings. I've never had this flavor, they're prawn and sweet corn, but they've got a great taste award. So I'm sold. I got a kimchi, a new one, because mine has pretty much run out because I eat it a lot. I love kimchi. I honestly eat kimchi with everything. So mine has run out. So I'm just gonna top this, um, oh, it smells so good. I'm just gonna top this up with this. I'll probably do that right now. I got some pak choy because I like to put this in my noodles. I've never had these before. So these are just rice cakes, sliced up rice cakes, but I'm gonna put them in with my noodles because I like the topoki, but sometimes I just don't want a whole rice cake thing. So I like to put them in my noodles. Then they didn't have the normal hot ramen. They only had the stew type, which I don't want. So I got the kimchi bulldog and one cheese bulldog. I've never tried the kimchi one, but I love kimchi, so I feel like it's just, it's gonna be very nice. I've just finished editing a video and it's gone live. So I edited this whole video and I've put it live. So that's the one I filmed the other day on Friday. So it's up now, which is good. It didn't take me too long to edit. Hauls never actually take me too, too long to edit. Any other type of video, to be honest, it's just vlogs. Vlogs take me forever to edit. It's now nine o'clock and I'm starving. So I'm gonna cook some tea. I think I've got some chicken and some pasta. So let's get that going. Okay, it's not my best looking dish, but I know this is gonna slap. I'm so excited. I'm gonna sit on the sofa and I'm gonna watch Netflix and eat this. I just fancied a little something because I'm gonna go to the gym, but I'm hungry right now, but I didn't want to eat like a massive meal. So this is really good. Morning, darlings. It's now Tuesday. I vlogged a little bit yesterday, but yesterday was a whole day. Let me tell you that. I woke up in the morning and I was like, you know what? Sometimes a good day doesn't find you. You have to find the good day. You know what I mean? I was like, okay, I wanna have a good day today. So I got up in the morning, I felt kind of tense. I knew I wanted to go to the gym, but I didn't wanna go to the gym feeling tense. So I did some yoga at home, which was really nice. I always do yoga by Adrian on YouTube. She's my favorite. I did the yoga, which was so nice. Then I went to the gym. And then I came back and I was doing some work for a bit. And basically yesterday was the day I announced that I am closing all body for now. I haven't spoke to you guys about this and I feel like right now is not the best time because I am on my way somewhere. 
Maybe I'll talk to you about it when I get back in the car because right now I'm going to meet my manager. If you want to, go to Instagram to watch the full video. It's on Instagram and TikTok. Um, me explaining everything about why I'm closing all body. But yeah, so that was intense. I wasn't sad, I was emotional. I was emotional because I've known this for months, like that I was closing it. But it's just that today was the announcing day. I was upset, but not from sadness, more like upset from gratitude. I felt so grateful yesterday that, you know, I even got to do this business and that it became what it became. So it was more like, the closing of a chapter kind of sadness rather than like I'm so upset so yeah and I feel like I've still not fully let it sit in because we were having issues last night so we had issues with the website the website went down even today the website's still kind of down like it's working but it's just slow so I feel like that took all my time and attention and I couldn't focus on like receiving all the love you know what I mean because it's still not properly fixed which is so annoying so yeah that was what happened, and I'm not gonna lie. Yesterday was a, was a big day. Like, it was a, a lot of emotions, a lot of intensity going on. Then my ex, the one that I was dating this year, decides to show up at my house unannounced with a bunch of flowers and a card. Because he knew that I was closing nobody, and he wanted to come and say congratulations, and I'm proud of you. Toxic, so toxic. That is what happened. And before you all start, there was nothing inappropriate that happened because we've not done anything inappropriate since we broke up, as he deserves. So yeah, but I'm on my way right now to go and meet my manager. We've had this meeting booked in for weeks. She's actually from London, she lives in London, so I don't get to see her that often. So she's come up to Manchester because she has a few different girls she manages here. And we're about to have brunch and talk about work. And it's gonna get serious because it's serious work things, you know? No, I actually do. We have to talk about how business has been, plans, things that we're working on currently. So yeah, we're going to Ducey Street Warehouse, which is a nice little spot to have a meeting. And I fancy a coffee. I, I really fancy iced coffee, so. Yeah, let's go. Good morning, good morning, good morning. We didn't talk yesterday because things got real busy real quick. So I went to meet my manager, had that meeting, which was good. Then I had to come straight to Preston to start packing orders at Allbody. Actually, I came to see my nephews first and then went to Allbody and I was there until midnight. I'm so tired, it's currently 9 a.m. the next day and I'm going back to Allbody to pack orders all day. But last night, like, I could have done more, but I ended up, basically, my extra ass thought it'd be a great idea to do a birthday photo shoot. So I have this birthday photo <laughs> I have this birthday photo shoot on Thursday or Friday. It's not confirmed yet. But I was, like, ordering my outfits for it. So that took me a really long time, I can't lie. So we've got none of that today. We're going to be straight on the orders all day. Postman will probably come about 4 o'clock. So we can still get some done. And I'm packing them all by myself. So I think I've projected that I can get 80 orders done today. So yeah, I'm just going to be spending a few days here. That's all that's going to happen, really. I'm about to go and get some breakfast right now. I'm in, like, my hometown. So I'm going to go get some breakfast. I really, like, I'm craving a smoothie, but where I live, there ain't nowhere that fucking sells a smoothie. Actually, though, there is, like, this meal prep place, so I might go and see if they've got, like, a juice or... I don't know. I might just go see what they have. I'm feeling, I'm feeling tired. My body's aching, but I'm raring and ready to go for the day ahead. I had a chippy last night. I've not had a chippy in so long. And my parents used to own the chippy like that I got it from. So she gave it me for free. So nice. But the chippy was so good, I can't lie. But I literally ate half of it. I was so full. And then I was like, oh my God, I feel so ill. But I think it's because I had a half a can of Monster at 10 p.m. at night. And I think that's probably what made me ill. Let's not lie to ourselves. I really, I'm gonna book a massage for this weekend. Oh, it's my birthday this weekend, guys. And I don't even really have any solid plans. I just feel like I haven't had time to just even think about shit. Oh. They've redecorated the doctors. Doesn't that look nice? Actually, it looks sterile. 
why do hospitals and doctors always look sterile? Is it to make you feel safe? Because I think it just lacks character. There's no fucking parking in this town. And it's driving me insane. Let's just back it up. Let's just back it up a little bit over here. Right, let's go and get some food. Are you on your way? Are you coming soon to me? I'm parking in the lake. So I'ma send an Uber to your place. It's my secret safe. Safe with just you and me. We can leave a trace. This is my favorite mistake. Oh, look in my eyes. 